Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am sharing a tutorial on how you can make this BTS logo using HTML and CSS. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I am using this online editor for the same purpose. Here I get some pre-written HTML syntax and CSS linked with it. So let's move ahead and declare our div with class main and close it. Now I'll go ahead and define it CSS. So with main, I'm gonna define it with let's say 250px height say 250px. Now let's give it a background color as well. So the background color will be black. Now we have this square div with us. Now let let make it a circle. So uh, for that we will need the border radius of fifty percent. Now let's make it move it move to the center. So position absolute left zero right zero bottom zero and top zero now give it the margin auto and voila we have this circle in the center now we need to move ahead and make this trapezium which resembles door so for that we will need a rectangle inside this main div so we need to create a div and let's name it rectangle 1 now this right over here is our first door let's copy it and let's define its CSS as well now uh, again I'm gonna define the width first so width will be 250 height will be 100 px and uh, let's give it the color background color white but we won't be able to see it so let's give it blue for a meanwhile and it's um, a bit narrow so let's increase the width 65 and increase the height as well let's say 40 now let's give it the position absolute so it can be inside the circle and the top position to be 20% and from left it should be around 40% no it's quite a lot so let's say 20% and now we need to make the plant cut for the store so let's move ahead and uh, define the CSS name as CSS class name as top cut and bottom cut and this is for first door so let's say it as first now I'm gonna go ahead and copy the name paste it in CSS now I'm not sure how can I cut it so I'm gonna search it on um, how to cut a slant on rectangle CSS so here we have our first search and I am 
getting this option so let's try it and make it work so I don't think I need topper right here and I think this uh, should be position absolute uh, yeah my bad position okay now let's give it the width width should be around zero i think and height should be around 20 px or something and i don't think so i need border top uh border top so i'm gonna go ahead and write bottom first and let's say it to be black and this should be transparent <laughs> i'm making a bulk of mistakes so yeah now i can increase the height uh i think it should be around 100 px or maybe 80 it does seem awkward so let's try to decrease the border so yeah it looks fine i think no it should be zero so 80 i think it should be around 100 i do think the rectangle is quite narrow so let's make it broader later i'm gonna copy this for the oh i made a mistake it should be top for the top part and for the bottom it should be bottom so let's say it bottom and now I think we do have a similar result um, not exactly similar but halfway similar um, so let's go ahead and draw the other rectangle and it will be rectangle 2 2 and 2 let's copy it and I'm gonna paste it now right now it is overlapping with each other so let's say 2 2 2 and make changes on the second door so let's say it would be 80 okay it's too much let's say 50 i think it's still low so 60 the left door needs to be shifted a bit more so i think it should be 30 yeah, i think it's okay now let's flip this door the second door so here i will write right and at bottom itself i will write right so i'm halfway there now let's try to decrease this gap in between and this can be done by shifting the rectangle a bit more left so say I think 52 I think it's not in the center so say 50 oh 53 percent and it um, here I will let 
31%. Now let's try to decrease the space over here and say it to be 8% and on the second rectangle as well 8%. Now let's change the color to its original that is white so yeah it's going to be white in color now i have somewhat similar logo but i do think that it's a bit narrow and here it is a bit white so let's try and make the width to be 70 and um, here as well 70 I don't think any changes are happening right now um, let's move forward and we'll see it later now I need to write BTS over here so we don't need these extra spaces now another div for the text BDS and I here I will write BTS now let's define the class for BDS and here I will first give it a font size of 24 px and letter spacing as you can see right here the letters are in distance with each other so I'm gonna go ahead and give it letter spacing of 25px um, the color will be white and let's align it in its position so 20p a percent and left would be 40 percent now let's try to uh, give it its position since we so see no effect of the code I wrote so I'm gonna give it absolute so I think I need to move it more low um, so it'd be 80 yeah I think 80 is perfect and now I'm gonna reduce this left margin I think yeah 30 is enough I think I need to increase the letter spacing let's say it to be 28 now I think I need to make top a bit low now I think it looks quite similar to the BTS logo we see here but yeah it's still not perfect as it is being built with CSS and not with an artist's hand and all we can do right now is increase this rectangle size so I think I'm gonna make this a bit low. I do think it looks fine now. You can play around with it as per your need since CSS is all about playing with it and learning. So yeah, I hope you like this video and if you do, kindly like and subscribe to my channel and yeah that's it for today thank you for watching see you next time
ドライ